will work with the provincial government to achieve an average of $10 a day childcare. BC becomes the first province to sign a deal with Ottawa that could bring the cost of childcare for parents down to $10 a day in the next five years. The Prime Minister promising $3.2 billion for childcare in regulated spaces for kids under six years old. It was a promise made by the BC NDP when it took office in 2017. Now the pressure is on both governments to speed up the program so it can get parents back to work post pandemic growth in our economy and the long term benefits will come from the fact that we were able to support and invest in families. The deal would also help a child care system that some advocates say is in chaos. High fees, long wait lists and child care workers being paid low wages. The goal of this new deal is to slash costs in half by the end of next year and add 40,000 spaces over the next five years. So that means training early childhood educators. That means lifting those wages up, as uh, Katrina said, so that people will get in into the profession so we can recruit and retain the next generation of workers. Child care advocate Sharon Gregson says schools have the room for child care, but the province needs to keep its promise to invest in workers. Our big push now will be on the province to transition existing non-profit and publicly run child care programs over to 10-a-day sites. That can happen very quickly and should happen quickly while government is actually funding the creation of new spaces. The child care industry, like many others, has been hit hard by the pandemic. Experts say this deal is vital in getting parents back to work as the country focuses on economic recovery. Ottawa is reassuring British Columbia in spots will become available for parents who feel the help is not coming soon enough. Most child care programs have already got waiting lists um, because we only have enough child care right now for about 20% of kids in BC. So there has to be a big expansion and that can happen quickly through school districts. This is not only a long-term plan, but also uh, a plan that will deliver early and quick results and aggressive and ambitious uh, targets, both in terms of affordability but also on space creation within the first 12 months. The move comes after April's federal budget included a goal to see a 50% reduction on average for regulated early learning and child care by the end of 2022. In Vancouver, Crystal Ladaris, City News.